Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game is an interactive tool for kids five to seven that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals. Because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure new reader kit today. That's playosmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time or you're still newer to our family, I want to encourage you to try five. That's our challenge where for five days in a row, your kids listen to some awesome stories to use their imagination and watch their creativity come to life. You see, we make stories every single day for you and uh, you just never know what kind of story you're going to find on any given day. So hang with me for five days, whether maybe driving in the car or maybe during lunchtime. And I think you're going to find something pretty amazing happens. Well, friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. One day, Mason, who was seven years old, was playing in his backyard. His family lived on a farm that had a large pond on it. And he'd never been to the other side of the pond because it was so ginormous. He did love to throw rocks and throw sticks into the water and watch the frogs and turtles jump in. But today was a very crazy day. Something had never happened before to him. As he was throwing the rocks, he saw bubbles starting to come out of the water. What in the world is that? He said. You see, Mason had never seen bubbles like these before. They were very humongous bubbles. And as he looked closer, he even saw some lights underneath the water starting to come up to the top. What is that? What in the world? It looks like car headlights under... It's not a car! It's a... He dove out of the way because all of a sudden a giant creature popped out of the water. It had five legs and one, two, three, four, uh, seven. It had eight glowing green eyes and very big ears, kind of like an elephant. And on the bottom of its feet were rocket blasters. Oh, oh, don't eat me! Mason shouted. Please don't eat me. I'm only seven. Why, hello, boy, I'm not going to eat you. Why would you think that? Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. But what are you and do you live in my pond? Why, of course I do. I'm the moon eater. Um, what's a moon eater? Well, that's me, but I guess they call me that because I eat the moon. You? What do you mean you eat the moon? Like the moon in the sky? Well, when I get very hungry, and I'm very hungry right now, I blast off into the sky and take a whole big chomp out of the moon. It helps me sleep. It gives me burp sometimes. Uh. Mason couldn't believe it. He'd always wondered why sometimes the moon looked like a circle and sometimes it looked like there was a piece missing out of it and he always wondered how that happened. But is this... Uh, does the moon eater really do that? I don't know about this, said Mason. I don't believe you. It can't be true. You have to prove it to me. Do it right now. Okay, then. <laughs> like I said, I'm very hungry. This is the perfect time. And just then, his feet turned on. I can't describe it any other way than that. These blue rocket flames just started pouring out of the bottom of his feet and blasted off into the sky. It was... it was incredible. I've never seen anything like it. 
Mason was watching this creature blast off right into the clouds aiming for the moon, which was right now a perfect circle. It was a full moon, very bright, and <gasps> Mason couldn't believe it. Right in front of his eyes, he watched the moon just <gasps> all of a sudden it was now missing a piece. Holy smokes, he did it, said Mason. Just then, the creature splashed and crashed down back into Mason's pond. <laughs> and he said, Oh, I feel much better now that my tummy is full. Mason said, How? How, uh, how'd you do that? How often do you do that? Oh, about once a week. <laughs> That's how often I eat. Well... It is about time for me to go to bed. <laughs> I'll see you next week. And just like that, he was gone back into the deeps of the water. Mason still couldn't believe what just happened. Did I really just see that creature? Wait, does that thing really live in my pond? And oh, well, I guess he only eats the moon. Not me. That's good. So Mason, every day, would come back to the pond and wait for his new friend to come back out. And it wasn't until the next week that he met his Moon Eater friend again. But that is a crazy story for another time. The end. Make sure you stick around to the end to hear Kid Shoutouts. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game, is an interactive tool aimed at children ages 5 to 7 that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals, turning them into young, confident, skilled readers. Because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Watching our youngest play with reading adventure this summer, I can see how much more ready he is for when kindergarten is starting very, very soon. Visit PlayOsmo.com to check out the reading adventure. New reader kit today. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Visit PlayOsmo.com to check out the reading adventure. New reader kit today. Hey, great job. You listened all the way to the end. Do you remember where exactly that pond was located? Hmm, was this pond at a park or was it in Mason's backyard? Yes, it was in Mason's backyard. That's where the Moon Eater lives. Holy smokes. Well, now it's time for Kid shout outs i want to say hey to francisca from california david from indiana dingu from singapore hudson and tegan from british columbia scarlet river oakley from kansas city and uriah and noam from israel i'm so glad that you're all in the kid short stories family i definitely cannot have this much fun with imagination without you so i will definitely see you on our next adventure bye